Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question. How do I use LDAP query to debug LDAP configuration issues in WebSphere Application Server? This video covers 1. Installing the IBM LDAP query application in WebSphere Application Server and 2. Performing a simple search with the IBM LDAP query utility. Log into the administrative console. Click Applications. Click New Application. Click New Enterprise Application. Click Browse and locate the ldapquery.ear file. Select the ldapquery.ear file. Click Open. Click Next. Leave the default installation options and click Next. Click here. Drag to the bottom of the screen. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Finish. The installation of the LDAP query application begins. Ensure that the application installs successfully, then click Save. Click Applications. Click Application Types. Click WebSphere Enterprise Applications. Select LDAP Util. Click Start. Start a new browser tab and type in the URL to the IBM LDAP Query Utility. For example, HTTP colon slash slash my host name colon ninety one twenty five slash util slash LDAP query dot JSP. This URL is case sensitive. Type in the host name and the port number of your LDAP server. Click Filter and type in the user or group that you are searching for. Additionally, complete the Base DN field. Click Search and the results will display at the bottom of the page. Click here. Drag to this position of the screen. You can use the results to configure security in WebSphere Application Server. If no results are returned, your LDAP administrator can provide you with the correct parameters to configure the LDAP query utility. Navigate to Global Security, Federated Repositories, Manage Repositories, and LDAP Blue Pages. Type in the host name and the port number of your LDAP server. Click here. Ensure that you have the starting filter in the Federated Repository Properties field. The LDAP query utility can be used, if SSL is enabled in the LDAP, by clicking the SSL button in the LDAP query utility. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.